career begins on a sunny June afternoon in 2009, in between my 8th and ninth grade years of, of school. Um, I came home from school, and my dad was bringing out laundry baskets out to the car, and I was like, wow, donating so many clothes, my family is so great. And then my dad came inside, and he's like, can you and your brother sit down and get a taxi about something? Divorce. My parents were getting divorced. Um, my personal experience with this issue and research that I have done um, kind of prompted me to choose this for my speech. Um, I researched from, got, I, actually I got a lot of good research from Psychology Today, Utah State University, the Heritage Foundation, and my own clinic. Um, I know a lot of you can relate to this. Um, 7 out of 13 people who took my survey said that their parents are divorced. Um, two of them said that they are divorced, and two also said that their grandparents are divorced. Um, after listening to my speech, you will be able to take steps in your relationships to prevent divorce in the future. Um, today I'll be covering the problem of divorce, how big of a problem it is, um, some causes of it, and solutions of how to avoid it in your relationships. <coughs> divorce rates are shocking. Patrick Fagan from the Heritage Foundation um, states in his article titled, Effects of Divorce in America, access in March 27. Um, he states that a million children see their parents divorce every single year in America alone. Um, he also states that half the children born to married parents this year will see their parents divorce before they're 18. And since over half of us here have parents who are divorced, I know that that statistic, that statistic seems very real now. Um, Psychology Today Online states in the, in the article, the impact of divorce on your child and adolescence accessed on March 27th that divorce uh, affects each kid differently. Um, for children, their life revolves around their parents. They go to school, yeah, but then they come home and they rely on their parents for everything. Um, but suddenly, this dependable source in your home becomes very, very undependable. Um, It becomes very undependable. Um, suddenly, like one parent left, and it seemed very easy for them to do that. So, what's stopping the other one from leaving? Um, for adoles for adolescents, it's a little more different. They're a little bit more independent. They hang out with friends more than their parents, probably. Um, but they probably stop relying on their parents for things. I know that I did. I stopped asking them to do this and that for me because. It kind of got awkward, like, who do I ask to bring me to this friend's house? Like, who do I ask to get this from the store for me? It was kind of awkward. Um, so the mindset of undependable parents sets in for each age group of children. Um, some causes of this is, of divorce, is that dating has changed over the last few decades. Um, it used, before, it used to be that people would date to um, find that find their spouse, to find someone that they would marry. But now, like, it's also a goal, but it's also just to have fun and just have somebody that you can rely on for a certain amount of time. And if it doesn't work out, then it doesn't work out. But um, they don't discuss things that must be discussed before they get married, that maybe before people would do. Um, because why fix what's not broken, right? <laughs> um, but conflicts come up during their marriage so they, about things that they did discuss before they got married. Um, they end up in divorce very easily because they think, well, it didn't work out, might as well just get divorced. Um, Utah State University online article titled, How Common is Divorce and What are the Reasons, accessed on March 28th, um, provided a national survey of divorced couples asking them what reasons they have for getting divorced. Um, and I've to more than 100 because they applied to more than one. Um, so, as you can see, lack of commitment, arguing, infidelity, marrying too young, unrealistic expectations, lack of equality, lack of preparation, and abuse were all very popular reasons of why couples got divorced. Um, there's a common divorce is a very common choice, but is it effective? <clears throat> actions, my solutions are going to consist of actions that you can take before your wedding day to ensure that your marriage is not ended. Um, first, pay attention to who you're dating, why you're dating them. How does the present with this person um, kind of reflect how your future with them will be? That's very important. 
Um, do you believe you have found your perfect match and you want to think about marrying them? Attend a premarital counseling session. Um, many churches require this before they, are before they will marry a couple, um, just to ensure that they have talked about all the right things and that their marriage will end badly or end it all. Um, and uh, family and marriage therapists also do this kind of thing if you're not affiliated with any church. Um, the Mayo Clinic staff in the online article about premarital, premarital counseling said, or access on March 28th, discussed um, common topics that um, churches and therapists will talk about during their premarital counseling session. Um, these things include finances, communication, beliefs and values, roles in marriage, affection and sex, children and parenting, family relationships, decision making, dealing with anger, and trying to play together. Now, to me, when I read this, it seemed like that the, talking about a lot of these things kind of seemed like that it would prevent, this would, a few things might be reasons for getting divorced that people stated, like, um, like lack of commitment and like lack of equality. Just like talking about these things and the roles in marriage would prevent these reasons why people get divorced. Um, so this is the end of my speech, not marriage. Um, I talked about the problems of divorce, effects that it has on um, the whole family, um, a few causes of it and solutions to fix those causes. Um, if you take nothing else from this, just realize that in Florida, it costs $409 to file your divorce. That is higher than any other state in America. Um, therapists would much rather see a happy couple before their marriage than a miserable couple trying to pull the pieces of their marriage together. Um, in my survey, 54% of you said that you believe that marriage is a good solution to a bad marriage, and I should say too much.